Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today we're going to do March faves and fails, my winners and losers of the month. This is a monthly series where I come on and I share with you five amazing products that I discovered over the month or they may or may not be new but they were just like new to me products within the month of March and then I include one maybe two dud products that just didn't make the cut and hopefully at the end we can compare lists and hopefully we have a lot of the same good and a lot of the same bad. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph. I love trying new makeup. I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of makeup ranking videos, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, all of the makeup that I am wearing, which is a full face of e.l.f., by the way, will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. You guys will see this look go up. I don't know which video you're going to see first, but if you're curious about it, just be on the lookout for a full face trying new, well-loved, and maybe not so great e.l.f. makeup. If you guys want to see what topped my list and lined the bottom for March 2024, keep on watching. All right, guys, so I had a good month. March was a good month in particular because it was my birthday month as well. But let's start with something that was like my cutoff point, something that barely made it in for the month of March. And if it hadn't have made it in for the month of March, I most definitely would be including this in the month of April. But I think we can all agree that Selena Gomez and her team did a fabulous job on these new Rare Beauty um, Power Blush. No, no, no. What is the official? <laughs> Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. That's what it's called. There are six different shades. I have a video and thank you guys so much for the love on that video. But in my video, I swatch them out in natural lighting. I show you what they look like indoors with flash, outdoors with flash. And then of course, I cheek swatch all six shades. These are beautiful. I have been wearing them nonstop and sometimes I don't even have to pair a highlighter. I'm the one, I'm that girl that likes that added bit of coverage. But uh, when I say coverage, I mean highlighter, add a bit of glow, I should say. But with these, you don't need it. You get your blush and highlighter in one. This particular shade is called Hope. It is just absolutely stunning. The packaging is like a soft touch matte packaging. They're like pink little rocks there on your shelves or in your drawers. This next shade is gonna be a deeper shade. This one is called Love. You get a mirror with all of them and I love them. I absolutely love them. They last all day, which is the most important thing. I just think they're fabulous. It is the combination of her powdered highlighter, which I love. It's the same formula. And then it's also the combination of her beloved liquid blush. Put that together and voila, you have these luminous powder blushes. Great job, Rare Beauty and Selena Gomez on these products. I hope you come out with more shades. I wouldn't mind, and I know I'm probably in the minority on this one, I wouldn't mind a luminous powder bronzer. Just saying. Next up for the month of March is from Super Goop, and this is their Protect Tint Daily SPF 50. Now, this I originally thought was a mineral sunscreen. It is not a mineral sunscreen. It is a chemical sunscreen. But I've really been enjoying it. Sometimes on the weekends, I'll wear this with just a little bit of concealer and that's it. And the way I apply this is with my fingertips. It applies very well that way. And I like it. It doesn't like sting my eyes or anything like that. It's a pretty pretty good product. I like a lot of super goop products. So I had a feeling 
I was going to be enjoying this one. I am almost out of my dermatology tinted sunscreen, so that's why I went ahead and picked this one up. In here, you get 1.18 fluid ounces of product or 35 mLs of product. I forget exactly how much it retails for, but Sephora sale is going on right now. So if you had your eye on it, I think it's worth checking out. It looks great under makeup. It doesn't mess with the integrity of the foundation or concealer, whatever you're going to put on top of it and it can act as a primer so there you go it's just an all-around good product another winner from super goop okay so let's talk about the lipstick that i have on and it might not be nothing much nothing special to talk about but it is a lipstick that I have been reaching for all month long and it is from Merit Beauty. I love the packaging on this one. And here is the shade. I apologize. I don't pronounce the shade name correctly. Antibes. Antibes. It is a country, a city. Is it in Greece? I don't even know. It's somewhere over there, overseas. But... Um, Maybe some of you have been there. <laughs> Maybe some of you live there. Anyway, I like the shade. It's a nice matte lipstick that lasts all day long. It's just something that I've been throwing in my bag and throwing in my bag and throwing in my purse and just wearing it on pretty much a daily basis. And I really like it. It's a comfortable formula. I do need to do a touch up after lunch, but I like the packaging. I like Merit Beauty as a brand. And I think it is a really nice formula and that like peachy, peachy brown neutral shade and I think it just goes with everything. Now let's talk about something I tried more so at the beginning of March and like the Rare Beauty blushes I did a dedicated swatch video over this next product. These are the new NYX bronzers. These are the buttermelt bronzers and I want to say there were eight different shades. I picked them all up from Ulta online Ah, and I was so excited. Now these bronzers are really different and I'll admit, I don't think these bronzers are going to work for everybody. This is the deepest shade. This shade is called Butter Than You. But I have found, and I applied all of these to my complexion, believe it or not, I was able to use this one as a really deep blush. It looked great as a blush. So the formula is really butter smooth. Think Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This has a nice scent to it, but it's a very minimal scent. And I think the packaging is really cute. Um, this is another one that's more on the deeper tone side. This is Do Butter. And that is what that one looks like. Some of them have I think they all have like a natural finish, but I want to say a couple of them have a bit of a sheen to them. This, I believe, could be the lightest one. This one is Buttercup, and this is what it looks like. I mean, I think you can use these in so many different ways. If you watch my video, my swatch video, I even use these as eyeshadows as well. Um, this next shade right here is Butter Days. And I've really been enjoying the formula quite a bit. This one, oh, the sticker gets stuck on these sometimes. You all know that drugstore packaging where they have a whole bunch of stickers. There we go. And you see, like, that has a very red undertone to it. And that's what I noticed. Like, these bronzers tend to have more of a red undertone to them. So if that helps your skin type, if it benefits your skin type, then these might be the bronzers for you. But I can wear this as a blush and be okay. And I just think there's four other shades. I have them in a box, but um, I just think that it's a really good formula that lasts all day. It's so easy to blend. It's just so easy to wear in a multiple in multiple different ways. I want to say they're like 10 or $11 each, but you guys know Ulta is always running buy two, get one free or buy one, get one half off. And NYX uh, on their website, they consistently run um, like 25% off site wide, 30% off site wide. So I would definitely wait for a sale if you're curious in picking them up. Check out my swatch video so you can see how I wore them and how they swatched on my fair to light. My, don't mind all my scratches. This is from sister. She, we play, she plays hard. 
she plays hard. But um, sister is my cat, by the way. But um, yeah, check out my video and see which shade you think would best match your skin tone. But for me, I have loved these all month long and I know I'm going to enjoy them for the rest of the year. Now my last top five product for March comes to us from Lunar Beauty. And I couldn't remember the name of this palette the other day, but this is the Moon Moon Shroom Palette. I just love the cover art. I think it is so cute. And of course, Lunar Beauty always has their moon visible in all of their artwork. I think it is too cute. But what gets me is not just the quality of the palette. You do get a full-size mirror. I love this color story. And I mentioned in my initial first impression review video that this reminded me so much of the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight. It's just a larger version of it. And then some of you also commented that this was the remastered ABH subculture palette. I both, yes, both. I just love a color story like this. And I'm sure there's more color stories out there that are similar to this one, but this is the Lunar Beauty one. And I think Manny and his team did a fabulous job with this entire collection. I got the face palette as well, as well as the lip glosses. The lip glosses are a really great formula, but for me, the palette was definitely the standout of that entire collection. I just love using this one. I definitely want to film with it again very soon. I want to do a real or a short. I just, guys, I've been so busy. It's hard for me to find time just to film those quick little videos because I do all my filming in the morning. And so usually I'm filming, you know, what's going to go up either when I get home from work and edit or what's going to go up the following morning. So yeah, I've been slacking on reels and shorts, but I'll get back to it as soon as I can get into that groove again. But going back to the Moon Shroom palette from Lunar Beauty, you just have everything here. You have your two rows of mattes and your row of beautiful shimmers in here. And I just, I just love it. It's a color story I can get behind. It, I think it's a unique color story and I love the cover art and I love the formula. And congratulations to Manny and your team on another fabulous release. Now, unfortunately, there was a dud in the month of March, but March brought a lot, a lot of nice products. So I don't mind that there was one not so great product, but this is something that has been, that was re-released this year. And I want to say it came out last year. I didn't buy it and then it came out again. So I was like, okay, well, I had a 20% off coupon. So I decided to get it and it comes to us from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Glowgasm face palette. You know, it's just, they're dry. The pans are dry in this one and I haven't really been able to reach for it and to make it work. Unfortunately, like it's just, this was $75 less the 20% off of it. That's still a hefty price tag for something I'm probably not going to get much use out of. The palette I have been getting a lot of use out of, and I should have made it an honorable mention, was the Dior, that Universal Quad. It had like a bronzy shade. It had a shade like this, and it was like a highlighter palette. That one I've been reaching for nonstop, but this one, it's like I can't even get it the pigment off like it feels like it's really hard pan and I had way higher expectations for this one um Charlotte Tilbury makes some amazing products I think and I've said this so many times but I think I like more of her skincare than I do her makeup I do enjoy her lipsticks and her lip liner the setting spray especially I do like the concealer but I love magic cream like I just finished my magic cream and now I'm gonna put the little um uh, recyclable pod into it um, and I really want to try her eye cream soon there's just I guess a lot more skincare than I do enjoy from the brand and it's like that with all of us there's certain things that with one brand we tend to buy more of this than that and for me Charlotte Tilbury is definitely more skincare heavy things that I enjoy the most from her brand rather than her makeup 
I would love to hear your thoughts on this Glowgasm palette if you have it. I think this is round two of it. Like I think there was a previous version and then this one. So sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on it. Or maybe I just got a dud. Maybe yours has been working great. But yeah, I'd love to get the conversation started on that particular palette. All right, guys. So that wraps up today's video. Those were my March faves and fails in the world of beauty. Let me know what your thoughts are. What were some of your top products last month? And what were some of your dud products? Hopefully we had very similar lists. I hope none of your faves made my fails list, which I only had one fail, but I would love to hear what some of the things that you guys have been loving on all month long. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.